Welcome back to another video of Let's Learn Flight Simulator together where you and I will be learning to fly together. If you have ever flown in an airplane or have seen one landing, you would have noticed that in most situations airplanes land very smoothly. Their descent speed at touchdown is very low to make the touchdown soft. Landing smoothly comes with following the correct procedure and with a lot of practice. Through this video, I intend on talking about the correct landing procedure that commercial pilots follow. When you try to land in the flight simulator, you will observe that the first few landings are the hardest. No pun intended. In my last video, I mentioned that while landing, you cannot be too high or low or fast or slow. You may understand why we want to be coming in in precision while landing, but I will still show you what happens if you do not come correctly. In this clip, I will try landing too fast. Let's see what happens. First things first, I was unable to land in the touchdown zone. Secondly, I had to brake too hard. In a wet or in an icy runway, you are very likely to slide off and your top gun will become Tokyo Drift. You don't want that to happen, do you? Lastly, since you landed way ahead of your touchdown point, you may overshoot the runway. Let's try coming in too slow. If you are coming in too slow, you stand at a risk of stalling the aircraft just before landing and you may crash. Coming in too high has repercussions like coming in too fast. You will miss the touchdown zone and you will have a lesser part of the runway to stop. Which means you have to brake harder to stop. And again, in a wet or an icy runway, you may perform a Tokyo Drift. Come too low and you may hit an on-ground object or crash short of runway. If what you're seeing in this video was a real life situation, the aircraft would have crashed. With everything said and done, how do we land correctly? Almost every runway has a defined glide path for pilots to follow. Pilots are trained into landing visuals and also using modern day technologies. Through their training, they know exactly how to descend into the runway. If you practice enough, it should not take you too long before you start landing smoothly yourself. Apart from visual landing, you may have heard that aircrafts can land even in extreme low visibilities and sometimes even with zero visibility. If you are wondering how, let's find it out together. ILS or Instrument Landing System helps pilots in precision landing. It helps with glide scope, in other words vertical guidance and lateral guidance, in other words horizontal guidance. There are a bunch of videos on YouTube that talk about instrument landing system in a lot of detail. In my video, I will try to explain them in the easiest way I can for the sake of flight simulator flying. Lateral or horizontal guidance helps pilots staying aligned to the center of the runway. If the aircraft is to the right side of the center of the runway, the localizer alerts the pilots to fly left. And if the aircraft is to the left of the center of the runway, it alerts the pilots to fly right. Glidescope guides pilots on maintaining correct altitude with reference to the distance from the touchdown point. In simple words, if the aircraft is too high, it alerts the pilots to descend to their correct altitude. And if the aircraft is too low, it alerts the pilots to ascend to the correct altitude. A disclaimer here before we begin. My first attempt to land at the runway 30 of Tenerife failed, so I had to go around. I decided to use the fail landing attempt to explain the instrument landing system functioning with Fires Flight Simulator. I will now fast forward to intercepting the ILS.
To intercept an ILS, press Select VOR button from your keyboard assignments. If you are using My Controls file, it is the number 7 on your keyboard. If you are new, I will add the link to My Controls file in the video's description. If you are wondering what is VOR, I will cover VOR in our future videos. For now, just remember it is a tool that is used by aviation for navigation. Press the number corresponding to your ILS location you are trying to intercept. In this video, my VOR was Tenerife North 30 that I was able to get to by pressing number 2 button on my keyboard. If you don't see your airport's ILS listed in the VOR list, the runway you are trying to land at may not be equipped with an ILS system. In such cases, either look for an VOR on other end of the runway or perform a visual landing. Once you intercept your runway ILS, you will see markers on your compass that will tell you where is the runway. These triangles tell you your glide slope. If these triangles are on lower half of your compass, you are flying above your glide slope. You will need to descend until these markers come to the center of your compass. If these triangles are on upper half of your compass, you are flying below your glide slope. You will need to climb up to fly along your glide slope. Now, let's have a look at how the localizer provides horizontal guidance to the aircraft in YS Flight Simulator. The line this arrow is pointing towards tells you if the runway is to the left or right of your aircraft. If this line is on the right side of the center of your compass, your runway is towards the right side of your aircraft. Similarly, if this line is on the left side, your runway is towards the left side of your aircraft. If you are aligned with the center of the runway and flying along your glide path, you are doing it right. Now remember, you have to maintain it till you are about to touch down. If I was able to explain you instrument landing system correctly, you will realize that I am flying too high. I tried to correct my approach but it was too late, so I had to perform a go around. The go around is fast forwarded, so sit back, relax and enjoy the flight until we are on the approach path again. As I am making this left turn, I am trying to follow the two triangles in the compass to be on the glide slope. I am also using the lateral guidance in the compass to align with the center of the runway. I am obviously not an expert, so it is taking me some time. There is a reason this channel is named Let's Learn Flight Simulator Together. I am learning more with you as I make these videos. Continue watching as I align the aircraft with the ILS readings and we perform a touchdown. As we descend, monitor your airspeed. Ensure you are following the appropriate airspeed for the aircraft you are flying. I am flying an Airbus A320 here. Here is the landing checklist for an Airbus A320 if you want to follow the books. The dark green cells highlight the steps you can follow from the checklist in YS Flight Simulator. The light green cells highlight the steps you can follow in YS Flight Simulator and feel fine say, like an airline pilot. The cells that are not highlighted are the motivational steps. These are the steps you can follow someday in future if you become an airline pilot or get a fancier flight simulator like the Microsoft Flight Simulator.
right before you touch down, you flare. That is, you push back on your elevators to slow down your descent for a smoother touchdown. If you were able to make it to the ground, great. If not, keep trying. If I can do it, I'm sure you can too. After landing, apply brakes and extend your spoilers. You can also apply reverse throttle if you want to slow down faster. Taxi away from the runway or take your aircraft for another joyride. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like my video and share with anyone you know who would like this video as well. Also, while you are here, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you very much for watching my video.